I'm Casey Donovan, and together with Amy Malloy, we welcome you to our weekend bonus episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Have you ever woken up in a great mood? Only for one interaction with one person to pull you down? Or have you clicked yes to a Facebook event only to regret it when you see someone's name on the guest list? Our social relationships can have a big impact on our emotional health. Translation. Toxic people can be a real buzzkill. Everybody can probably name one person who has the power to bring them down very quickly. It doesn't mean they are a bad person. Your personalities probably just don't sync up. They're a bit more glass empty. Or they really love to gossip. It's even worse if you're an empath. Research shows that emotions are contagious. We start to adopt or mimic, usually without conscious effort, the emotions and expressions of the people around us. That's bad news if a toxic person is in your friendship group. Someone's partner, a colleague or an acquaintance. But, Mindfulness can boost our immunity. In this bonus episode, I'm going to teach you a practice called protective bubble meditation. Imagine blowing a huge, great, big bubble. Using one of those bubble ones all those kids seem to love. See the bubble. Perfectly round perfectly clear, with a glimmer of a rainbow of colours. Now, imagine stepping into that bubble. In the bubble, you feel light. In the bubble, the air is fresh. And most importantly, nothing can touch you in here. You're protected from criticism. You're protected from bad energy. You're protected from gossip and other people's negativity. You control your environment. And that's the really important message. The bubble acts as a reminder. You have the power to choose what you absorb. Their emotions are not your emotions. It's time to take responsibility for your feelings. We're all grown-ups here. We're all grown-ups in big bubbles, even in a toxic crowd. You can feel safe you can still float away. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Tune in Monday, and we'll share a mindfulness tip to start your week with a clear head. Until then, space out.